You can also view color oscilloscope to see how, um, uh, how the colors are in a particular video while you're working with color correction especially. So over here you can see that I have a video footage, uh, footage right here and if I want to see the color oscilloscope for this one then I can go around over here and click on this hamburger icon right here and then go to color oscilloscope and turn this on. Once you do that over here on the bottom you can see the color details right here like you can see the RGB channels so from the left to right for the video you can see the RGB channels right here red, red green and blue and you can see the brightness levels right here um, with different channels all together as you can see right here so it's just this but all together the red green and blue and then you can see uh, this uh, circular compass like um, a graph right here which has the color as well so if I were to go around onto adjustment over here and change, let's say for example, um, the curves right here and change around, let's say, uh, the reds over here and increase out the red, you can see that the red shift goes out right here and this, go, this shows that there's more red over here. You can see which color there are more over here on a particular footage, like if you want to go around and increase out green if you were to decrease out blue you can see that there's more green over here just like this if i were to go around onto the end right here you can see that i if i were to go around onto the bright areas it decreases out the bright areas of the blue right here just like this and then increases um, others out accordingly so if i were to go around and increase out the um, increase of the red over here you can immediately see that there's less blue over here on the bright side and um, a less red over here on um, the dark side right here just like this and if I were to go around and change this you can see the entire thing move right here so you can see that over here this is the bottom part and this is the top part right here and this is what you have and you easily know when it is actually going around and then um, uh, blowing things up right here like for example if I were to push this way up you can see that everything is flattening out over here on the top that means you are losing details over here just like this so you can see that you can utilize this and see like how your colors are actually being distributed over here just like this and um, uh, when um, the colors over here are a bit balanced you know that they are equal right here just like this so that is how you can go around and utilize the color oscilloscope in order to see how the colors are distributed in a video footage or any object inside of CapCut desktop editor so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe